Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for clicking on another video. I don't know what I just did with my hands there. That was that was weird. Today's video, I thought I would do, as you can always tell by the title, why do I always say that? Whatever, I'm going to do a what's in my gym bag, gym essentials, because I feel like it's taken me a little while to get to the perfect gym bag uh, content. And I'm just going to save you the trouble and tell you straight off what is in my gym bag. I have it right here. This gym bag was for Christmas from my sister. Here's just like a standard what's in my bag. If you like this video, don't forget to leave me a comment letting me know because, <laughs> because it's great for my ego. <laughs> well, no, it's not only great for my ego, it also lets me know that you actually like the video and I can do more stuff like this. Thumbs up. Thumbs up is a defo about ego. Um, <laughs> leave me a comment, subscribe. And just join the channel and come be my internet friend. Okay, let's go. Here we have my gym bag. It's just a normal bag. I think it's cute. Y your opinions are your own. So I'm not actually gonna do this in any particular order. I'm just gonna pull stuff out of my bag and tell you why I find it essential. Water, obviously whenever you're doing a workout you need to stay hydrated. So try and get two liters a day. I tend to drink about a liter while I'm at the gym. Um, if that gives you a stitch then don't do it. But I just get so thirsty when I'm working out. I think I'm just sweating loads and yeah. Bottle of water number one. Number two is some whey protein. A whey protein shake. Now I'm gonna be completely honest with you. If you've seen my video on supplements then you'll already know this. If not, go and watch it. But I don't like live off this stuff. It's just a good add-on. So if I'm gonna be stuck in traffic on the way home, if for some reason I don't have food ready, I will just drink some of this stuff. It's not like my favorite thing to do. I would rather eat a burger <laughs> than drink protein, but it's just a really easy, convenient way. So I just take with me a couple scoops of some lean whey protein and if I need that, I'll just fill it up uh, in the gym and yeah, good to go. What do we have next, boys? It's like Christmas today. Next we have a hairbrush full of my hair. I should have taken that out before doing this. Um, but yeah, just, you know, just to stay cute. Next up, probably like the most important thing in this bag, and if I don't have it in this bag, the session's a write-off, an actual write-off. Um, headphones, headphones. So I use wireless headphones, they are a game changer. If you're not using wireless headphones, I can't believe I actually survived that long without using wireless headphones. So these are just some random ones from Tesco. I think I actually left my, I'm in London at the moment, I think I actually left my headphones at my sister's place in London. And so I just went into Tesco and bought some new ones for like 30 quid. The battery is great, the sound is great, and you just put them around your neck like this. It does have a clip to tie the string, but they're like, they're great. I can't complain about these. They stay in really well. Unless you're doing extravagant workouts, then these ones don't stay in so well. So if I'm doing a lot of like plyo moves and jumping and drills and stuff, these ones, they can slide out of your ears sometimes, so that's a bit annoying, but most of the time they stay in. Those are my first pair of headphones. Yeah, I said it first. Next up, what do we have? Backup wireless headphones, okay? So if these keep falling out and they're annoying me, or if these run out of battery, I have backup wireless headphones. These, again, were like 29 30 quid. They are JVC on-ear ones. I just, I think they look cool as well. I'm not gonna lie, I think they look really cool. Like, when I wear these, it's like, oh, sorry, don't talk to me, sir. I am doing a workout. And it's so important that I need you all to know that you can't talk to me right now. A great sound. Everyone else can hear what you're listening to though. So like, if you're having a high school musical sesh, yeah, that's a thing, um, then maybe use these ones because these ones are not like soundproof at all. I am not yet in the financial position where I'm just buying beats, like just spending like hundreds of, hundreds of cash dollar, cash money on headphones. So yeah, 60 quid for these, which is still, you know, a decent amount of money, but totally worth it. And then I'm just gonna be completely honest with you and completely honest with myself. Me and me have been in a relationship for like 24 years now. I know me. These will not always be charged. I forget to charge stuff all the time, all the time. They will not always be charged. And I refuse to ruin my session, my day, with these running out of batteries. So I, so I literally take with me to the gym all the time backup headphones, these basic, old iPhone, probably stolen from my sister, hair tangled in them, normal headphones, which aren't wireless, which are no fun, but are better than a musicless session. I like listening to music at the gym. It's really antisocial, and it's probably why I have no friends at the gym. 
I'm gonna roll it, can you? Ooh, this is fun. Um, is my phone carrier. So if you don't know about these, it's like a little arm strap that you like put your phone in um, and you can work out with them. I personally, now that I have wireless headphones, I don't, I, there's no need for this. I'll just put my phone on the floor or like somewhere nearby. <laughs> this is gonna sound, <laughs> this is gonna sound like I'm being overly dramatic, but my arm changes size when I'm working out. Like I would, it would either be too tight or too loose. As soon as you tense up and flex, my arms look skinny right now, but I promise you there's, there's a bit of bicep in there somewhere. I flex and it's too tight and then it loosens. And so I, I don't use this much, but it's here as a backup. In fact, that's not true. This is what I would use it for. If my headphones die, I would plug these into my phone and then strap this to my body so it's not like I have to carry around a phone. So that's what that's useful for. Okay, next. Socks, socks, socks. So I sometimes go to the gym from work and classic thing to forget is socks. So I just have a pair of, I think they're clean, socks in my bag so that no matter what, I remember my socks. But to be honest, I would still say headphones are more essential. Like I've done sessions without socks before and my shoes are okay, they survived. But yeah, socks in the bag. Car keys because I drive to the gym now instead of running. And a towel, which to be honest, I rarely ever use. Um, it's just there in case for some reason I did get really sweaty, but I just tend to let my sweat shine. In fact, I kind of like it when I'm sweaty. I'm like, hey everybody, can you observe that I am working hard today? Um, but I have a towel in there just, yeah. Gloves, 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 gloves. So I take these Okay, don't show me up. Oh my god. So I take these gloves. These are legit from Primark for like a fiver. Um, and I use these for like doing pull-ups, hangs. If you've seen some of my videos recently, you know that I'm really working on my upper body strength, doing a bit of calisthenics, doing whatever's fun. I do have calluses still. I do have a lot of dry skin by there. I use these basically for when there's no chalk and I just need better grip because my hands get so sweaty. All my life I've had sweaty hands. Everyone's always like, your hands are so warm. I'm like, they're sweaty. Um, my hands are always warm. When I'm working out, always sweaty, so I just slip right off the bar. So I just use these um, to improve my grip. And I also have some perfumes, some Armani diamonds, which to be honest, I could probably, I could probably use. I love this stuff, it's so good. Oh, bobby pins. I always take some bobby pins with me. To be honest, these are just in every single bag that I own. Bobby pins is a must. Padlock and keys, super essential if you don't want to get robbed. Not that there are like many thefts at my gym, but you just want to be safe. So padlock and key for the locker. My cocoa butter palmers lip balm. Dry lips, not my portion in Jesus name. Say not today Satan with some cocoa butter palmers. So when I have my lips are dry, I use this. To be honest, even if my elbows are dry, I'll put this on my elbows if I have to. So yeah, just a little bit of, little bit of sheen. I think that's everything. That is literally everything that's in my gym bag. What are the things that are essential to you? This could all be very personal to me. Like, am I the only one who really cares about what I smell like? Um, or having moisturized, succulent lips? Succulent? Mmm. Mmm. It's kind of weird. Let me know out of these things what you'll be going out and getting and putting straight in your gym bag um, because you're like, whoa, that's essential. If there's nothing, then I have failed here. Thanks so much for watching. I love you guys very much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <sighs> now to put everything back inside.